Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Today we are uh, going to speak about the Parashat Tevuma, which follow the Parashat Mishpatim. We have seen that since the children of Israel left uh, Mount Sinai or came to Mount Sinai, they have received now the Mishpatim, which is uh, the uh, how to behave, to live a righteous life. And now we come to uh, the Parasha Teruma, <coughs> which means to lift up, to elevate. Yeah, it is written here in the verse, uh, chapter 25, verse 1 and 2. And Jehovah spake unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering of every man that gives it willingly with his heart, he shall take my offering. Uh, and so it's very interesting because here the offering is the word Tehuma. And I will, I will show you something very interesting. But in particular, I want to point out that this, this parasha is about now the material, uh, the truth of the material, which will uh, be used for the construction of the Mishkan, the tabernacle, which we will go into details. Now, if you read it, you may be uh, bored because it goes into details which uh, in the plain text are not easy to see. But if you, if you know how to read, you will see how wonderful it is. And for more details, you will have to go in uh, my blog, uh, Daniel Ben Yaakov Israel Blogspot, and you will see, you, you will find it in the uh, uh, written. And you will see all the details of the, this parasha teruma. It is too long to put it all together. What I say is <coughs> here, Moshe say that to bring this teruma, it must be out of a willing heart. Out of the willing heart. No other way but a willing heart. Somebody who is really devoted for the love of yod He, the love of Yehovah. And the purpose of this building of the Mishkan is given us in a verse 8, from the chapter 25. And let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. Sanctuary is the word Mishkan. Mishkan. He said they will, the purpose of that is that Jehovah want to dwell among his people. And unfortunately, this be, will be only fulfilled, only fulfilled at the end of the millennium as it is written in Revelation, in the book of Revelation. If we go there, we will see how come the fulfillment in the chapter. Let me go there. Okay, Revelation. My Bible is old, and sometimes. Yeah. Chapter 21. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, Johanan, saw the Kadosh sitting, the new Jerusalem coming down from Elohim out of heaven, prepares a bride adorned for their husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Elohim, the tabernacle of Elohim, is with man, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Elohim himself shall be with them, and be their Elohim. You see, this is the fulfillment of what we read here in Shemot, Exodus 25. In between, there is a lot of trouble, a lot of problem, because of the rebellion of Adam, the rebellion of Adam, all this trouble, he's now going on in the spiritual realm, and uh, this is a battle. And the children of Israel, you and me, are commanded to keep the Shabbat, which demonstrates in the spiritual realm that uh, Jehovah is restoring everything through Mashiach Yehoshua. Okay, so here this point. Now I go back to the verse 2 for the chapter 25. Speak unto the children of Israel that they bring me an offering, a teruma, which means which mean lift up, lift up, elevate. Now listen to that. If you go to the book of John and the chapter, uh, uh, just wait, I will show you something. Yeah. In the chapter 12, we read, I will, for the context, I will um, read from the verse 28. But this is in the verse 32. Father, glorify thy name, 
Then came there a voice from heaven, I have both glorified and we glorify again. The people therefore that stood by and heard said that he thundered, others say, a monarch, a messenger spake to him. Yeshua answered and said, this voice came not because of me, but for your sake. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. And I, if I be lifted up, Teruma, from the earth, will draw all unto me. This is say, signifying what death he should die. You see, he presents himself as an offering, a Teruma, you know, and you can find the Teruma in Babiba 15. We look shortly in it. 15, chapter 15, to look onto it, from the verse 17, and we read, verse 17, you see, um, and you have spoken to most things, speak you unto the children of Israel, saying unto them, when you come into the land, will I bring you that he served the land of Canaan. Then it shall be that when you eat of the bread of the land, you shall offer up an heave offering unto Jehovah. You shall offer up a cake of the first of your dough, that is a teruma, for an heave offering, teruma, as you do the heave offering of the threshing floor, so shall you heave it. Of the first of your dough, you shall give unto Jehovah an heave offering in your generation. I want to remind you that uh, Yeshua is called the bread of life. Okay, you see the connection here with this offering? So, now we come back to the parasha. So you go into the details, and I want to encourage you to read, because next week we have another parasha with mystical aspect, and I will give you some uh, insight in the gematria, and you will see why Yeshua was speaking, or the Johanna, when he wrote the book of John, he wrote about the 153 fish. I will give you the details and you will see how wonderful it is, how Jehovah, Yod has embedded his truth, his mystery, his Mashiach, his Yeshua in the Torah for those who have eyes to see and are here to hear. So my friend, I encourage you to read the parasha and to make it a habit to you every Shabbat, every Shabbat, to read and to pray for the spirit of discernment, for understanding, because Jehovah is not a respecter of person, he will give you freely and you will see a great change in your life. So, I say now it's, that's all for today. Read the parasha, go to my blog to read all the details I have put inside and you will see how wonderful it is. So, I say Shavuatov and see you the next time. Okay, bye bye.